gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to the Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, Na Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series, South Point 400 from Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Race one of the playoffs. It's playoffs, baby! All right, South Point 400, we have 400.5 miles, 267 laps, three grade stages. 80, 80, and 107. Penske Racing, Joey Logano and Brad Keselowski have won the last two races at Vegas. Brad won last fall, the first fall race in uh, for Vegas, and then Logano won the spring race this year. Ford has won four of the last five races at Las Vegas. Back in the spring, Logano won, Brad Kozlowski, so we had Penske 1-2, followed by Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick, Kurt Busch, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Eric Amarola, Martin Truex Jr., Chase Elliott, and Denny Hamlin. Now, when we look at the mile and a half, who this year in the eight mile and a half tracks has had the best season? Well, Kurt Busch averaged a nine place finish with one win. Eric Jones has averaged a 9.75 finish with one win. Kyle Busch has had no wins on the mile and a half this year. Averaging a 9.8 finish. Kevin Harvick, no wins on the mile and a half. Averaging a 9.8. Logano, 10.2 average finish with one win. Truex has a win. He's averaged 10.6. Brad Kalsowski has had two wins on the mile and a half. Averaging a 11.1. Alex Bowman's had a mile and a half win. Averaging a 11.1. And old Denny Hamlin's averaged a 13th place finish with a one win. So my three picks to win at Vegas. How do you go against Joe Logano and Brad Kozlowski? They won the last two. Team Penske. And then my third pick, we'll go with Kyle Busch. Kyle Busch, good old Kyle. Now, like I said, this is race one of the playoffs. Let's take a look at the playoffs. Um, beginning of the year, I did a playoff prediction, 14 of 16, second year in a row I've done that. Uh, I picked Austin Dillon and Jimmy Johnson, I was kind of hoping they would both make it in. Unfortunately, they did not, and Ryan Newman and Alex Bowman made it in instead. If you look at the 16 drivers that are running for the 2019 championship, four gift cars, three Penske Racing, three from Stuart Haas, Bo Chip Ganassi, Three from Rick Hendrick and one from Jack Rouse. We have six teams representative. Basically what this is, means to me is NASCAR's top heavy. We have the super teams that basically do everything and everybody else. There is a rule out there that you can have no more than four teams. In the landscape of NASCAR, the way it is right now in 2019, going into 2020, I think NASCAR needs to change that. I think we need to go back to, you can have as many, many teams as you want. If you want five teams, have five teams. If you want six teams, have six teams. The caveat is, you get no more than four charters. So you're going to ask, well, why would a sponsor want to sponsor a team that doesn't have a charter? But guess what, if you're Joe Gibbs, Look at the four go, yeah, the four Joe Gibbs cars. You really think that Kyle Busch has to have a charter? You don't think he can go out there and qualify every week? Just saying, I'm just throwing it out there. I mean, maybe you change it to where you can have maybe no more than five charters. But then you follow kind of the, I mean, I think there's going to be a way to explain it to have more teams at the top versus more teams at the bottom. Because right now you have... Six teams in your playoffs, basically. Yeah, they're multi-car teams, but you, you have the haves and the have-nots. If you take the charters away from the have-nots and give it to the haves, you're going to have more haves up there. So instead of having four Gibbs cars in the playoffs, if you if they have you know five, you may have five Gibbs cars. So you're going to have another, or even you know, say Stuart Haas, if they had five teams. Maybe three of their five teams make the playoffs, but then you're going to have that 15 that's going to be running up front all the time. So I think it would give NASCAR a little bit more, you know, being top-heavy, kind of the middle-of-the-ground teams. 
I mean, you look at the Joe Gibbs cars this year, three teams have four wins. Kyle Busch, Denny Hamlin, Martin Truex. Um, Eric Jones has one win. I mean, but that's just my thoughts. Um, but after the first round, I think after the first round of playoffs, the three eliminations will be William Byron, Eric Amarola, and Ryan Newman. Um, so that's going to wrap up the, you know, the predictions for the race. Yeah, I said that. I said race predictions. Joe Gilligano, Brad Kalsowski, Kyle Busch. So that's going to wrap up the South Point 400 preview. Make sure you stay tuned to the Robert Sports Show for the Xfinity race and the uh, Gander Outdoor Truck race preview as well. Thanks for watching Robert Sports Show. Don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader. Sports Show content.